30 years ago, Robin Rowe set fire to her Ada County home, killing her husband and two children. She is the only woman on Idaho's death row. Rowe has had multiple attempts to get off of death row since her conviction. Now she is giving it one more try. Rowe and her attorneys filed a post conviction petition through the state in June of this year to change her sentence. Her newly filed petition is based on a recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling and what her defense says is ineffectiveness of counsel from failure to bring forth evidence of a brain atrophy she has. A Supreme Court case permitted that if certain claims of ineffective counsel are not developed in state court first, federal courts cannot address them later. Roe and her attorneys are using this as a reason to file this latest relief petition. The petition says Roe has a remarkably abnormal shrunken cerebellum in her brain and frontal lobe damage. According to the petition, parts of her brain have large gaps, causing problems with mood, judgment, and decision making. The defense said Roe was born with the defect, but factors in her childhood may have also contributed, worsening the condition. They say these issues were not originally brought up by her defense, making the defense ineffective. They claim she could have received life in prison instead of the death penalty if these factors were addressed during her sentencing. Roe is currently at a correctional facility in Pocatello waiting on her motion hearing that's coming up on August 2nd. You can read the full story about this on KTVB.com.